Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. Welcome to this Adobe Illustrator tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to create this Game of Thrones inspired metal type effects. It's not a pure replica of Game of Thrones title. I do not want you to spend a lot of time tweaking with the gradients while you can easily create a replica using Photoshop. Photoshop is far more powerful at creating realistic gradients and shading and textures. So, the aim of this tutorial is to show you what can be achieved inside Adobe Illustrator while retaining the all qualities of vector illustration. So, it's absolutely scalable, it's easy to customize. You can easily change, for example, all colors inside gradient using color wheel and create this bloody type or this type. You can do what you want. So let's start our tutorial. So I'm now in Adobe Illustrator new document and I have this type. And I download this type for free. You can also, if you want to follow along, of course, download it for free visiting the link in the description. So let's start our tutorial and first of all I want to set some guides. Ctrl R, Command R to show the rulers. Then I want to set first rulers here. I want to set the basement ruler. I want to set a ruler here and ruler here. And then I want to grab touch type tool or click shift M, select this letter G, and then I want to use this bending box icons. I want to use my top right icon to resize my G and bottom left to place it on my ruler, then I want to resize it even more, like so. Then I want to customize also this off and this letter T. So I want to resize this, grab, sorry, I want to grab another ruler and resize this using the same ruler here. Then I want to customize my T, so I want to place it on the uh, new basement and then increase it in the size. So I have all of my type customization. I'm pretty happy with that. And next I want to change the feel of my type, let's say to this purple, it's ok. Then go to the, to the type, create outline from my type. So I'm now dealing with outlines. I need to customize the letter T arm. So that I said all of my guides locked. To achieve this effect, go to the view, guides, and lock guides. Alt Control semicolon. Then I want to grab my direct selection tool. Click A. Increase a little bit the size of my Artboard, select only right arm of my T letter. Notice how many points are selected. I have selected 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points. Uh, now use right arrow key to increase the crossbar or arm of the T. Now I want to join this group. Open this group, push a little bit rest of the board towards the T with my left arrow key. So we are ended with this result. Now I want to a little bit, just a little bit, resize the stem of the T. For doing this, I want to select all of my hollow anchor points on the stem of this T. 
So on the dice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Anchor boys are filled, other are hollow. Grab your scale tool, click S. And move using shift key from the right to the center. With your scale tool. And I resize a little bit my the stem of my teeth. So I do the, the all necessary customization and now I'm ready to create a duplicate. But first we need to visit our layers panel. If you can find it, go to the windows, layers here. And I want to click on this little icon to create a new layer. And then I want to select my design. Ctrl C, Ctrl F to make a duplicate and paste it in front. Keep this duplicate selected. Navigate to this little square dot and holding this dot, replace your duplicate on the new layer. Lock your original layer with your original design using this free space between Airball and Chevron icon. Now I want to work only with duplicate. So first thing first, we need to go to the effect 3D extrude and bevel. Here I, from drop down menu we need to use front. Then from bevel we need to choose curve shape. Set all another settings as a default. Check preview. And we are ended with our effect. And notice that this produces spikes from our uh, serifs and we can't remedy these spikes by itself it consumes a lot lots of times believe me I try all of the methods I know to remedy these spikes but we can hide the spikes using our clipping mask so it's a good time for us to unlock our original file but before we do that Select your 3D layer, go to the object and convert it to regular Adobe Illustrator vector object using Object Expand Appearance Panel. Then we need to unlock, clicking on this padlock and select our original file. Change the fill color to black. Then use your right mouse button key and ungroup it. And we need to create a duplicate using offset. So go to the object path, offset path. Here in offset dialog box, set the value of 0.5 pixels and the type of joints set to round from meter. Check preview and click OK. Now that we have of certain glyphs and they are selected and your original glyphs are deselected. We need to create a new layer and using this little square put the all offset glyphs on your new layer and you can delete your original design. Now we need to grab a newly created layer and put it on top like so. Keep selected all the glyphs, go to the object, compound path, make or hit Ctrl 8 or Command 8 on your mark. Now we deal with compound path. We need to select our 3D layer using Shift, so both of my layers are selected. And I want to use my right mouse button key and make clipping mask. Adobe Illustrator prompts me with the message the object is very complex and may cause the document to fail. It's ok, click yes and end, we are ended with this result. Now we need to add some metal gradients. And the best and most durable way to do that is using default Adobe Illustrator swatches. So go to the windows, swatches, open the swatches library here using this bottom left icon then go to the gradients and gradients choose metals and here 
we need to set let's say to copper but before we need to open the clipping group and select 3d design and apply copper for that let's say here looks very nice but what if we change uh, I'm sorry uh, from bronze to copper you can tweak with these uh, gradients and last step we need to create a rectangle that covers all entire artboard I want to set this rectangle to the bottom and give it black color then I want to create a new fill using my appearance panel if you can find your appearance go to the windows appearance create a new fill and navigate to gradient again if you can find your uh, gradient go to the windows gradient I want to find the default gradient white to black set the gradient to radio then I want to click G and customize this gradient with my gradient tool notice that we are dealing with the primarily with one different fields of one rectangle I want to move it like so increase it in size scale it down a little bit then go to my transparency and set transparency let's say to 45 like so so if we are ended with this result guys if you like this tutorial do not hesitate to sum up subscribe and share it with your friend i want to thank you for following to the end have a nice day